Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. As you know, we're still in our winter months, so I have a great soup that I think you're truly going to enjoy that I'm going to be preparing today. It's called broccoli cheddar cheese soup. And here are the ingredients for what I think is a very delicious soup. You're going to need flour, chicken stock, milk, chicken base but if you don't have chicken base you can use just one chicken bouillon cube that'll be fine pepper salt nutmeg broccoli celery half and half butter carrots and some sharp cheddar cheese now I'm gonna go away get all of my ingredients prepared and get it all cut up. You're going to shred your carrots and you're going to cut up your broccoli uh, florets. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done and I'm going to chop up my onions as well and then I'll meet you right back here so we can put together this can this delicious soup on a very cold day. Alrighty now I'm at my stove and I've taken one teaspoon of butter uh, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of butter, and I have it in here melted because the first thing that you want to do is you want to take your celery and you want to take your onions and you want to saute them up real good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute this up and then I'm going to remove it from this kettle. And once I saute it up, and then I remove it from the kettle. I'm going to bring you back so I can go to the next step. Now, this may take like about two, three minutes. So as soon as I get it sauteed up, I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I have removed my sauteed onions and celery from the pot. And now I'm putting in a stick of butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a roux with a stick of butter which is a half a cup and a half a cup of flour making a roux is equal parts of what you're going to use whether it be oil or it be butter whether you're using olive oil butter regular oil butter but it's a half a cup of liquid versus a half of cup of your dry ingredient which is your flour so I'm gonna mix this half a cup of butter and half a cup of flour and once this heats up and I get ready to get into making the roux which takes maybe about three four minutes I'll bring you back and show you what that looks like be right back okay now my butter has melted so I'm gonna go ahead and add my half a cup of flour to this And again, I'm just making a roux. And what you want to do is you want to cook that flour down a little bit. Now, I'm going to stir this until it turns just a little bit darker color. It'll take maybe a couple of minutes for it to get a little bit like golden brown. And then once it gets golden brown, then I'm going to add my chicken broth. And I'm going to allow this to cook with my chicken broth and I'm going to stir it occasionally for about 20 minutes okay now you have seen some little brown specks down in the bottom that's because I didn't once I sauteed my onions and my celery there's no need to wash the pot you don't need to do that just go ahead and take out your celery and your onions and once you take it out then go ahead and mix together your flour and your butter in order to make the roux. Now, as you can see, this is darkening up. I don't want it real dark. Just want it to darken just a little bit. Just enough for that flour to really cook with that butter. And then I'm going to add that broth and I'm going to allow it to simmer. Now, you don't want to cook this on a fast heat either. Keep this on a medium heat, not medium high, just a medium heat, and allow it to cook. Uh, I'm going to let it get just a little bit darker. And then when it gets just a little bit darker, I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken broth to this. I'm going to cover this with my top, and I'm going to allow it to simmer. just for 
about 20 minutes. Now you do see some bits of the onion, but like I told you, that was just the onion that I didn't remove. I just allowed it to stay, you know, in there. It's only a couple of pieces. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. Okay, that flour is cooking up real good because you don't want the flour to have a pasty taste to it. And that's what you'll get if you don't allow it to, the flour and the butter to actually cook up. So to avoid that pasty taste, just go ahead and mix them together well. Now this is not a hard soup to make and it doesn't take a long time. Because most of your time is going to be spent not watching and observing and putting in, you know, vegetables and all of that. It's going to be, um, most of your time is going to be spent just with you trying to wait on the stove to cook up the soup. But this is a good soup, especially on a cold day, and I think that your family will truly, truly enjoy it. Okay, now this is like a mushroom brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it about another minute. And then I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to slowly add in my chicken stock. So I'll be right back. Okay, that's been about another minute worth of cooking and I'm back. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly add my chicken broth. Now, I'm going to add this whole container of chicken broth, and this is a 32-ounce container. But you're not going to use as much as I'm going to, you're not going to make as much as I'm going to make. So what I'm going to do is, as always, I'll put your recipe in the description box, and you can just make it accordingly. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my chicken base and it's right here where you would add a chicken bouillon cube. And that's it. I'm not going to add any other seasonings. That's the only one I'm going to add. Alrighty. So I've added that. And I'm going to turn this on medium low. And I'm going to allow this to cook for 20 minutes. And at the end of 20 minutes, I'll bring you right back and I'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I'm about one minute from the 20 minutes. I told you to allow this to simmer for about 20 minutes. But the reason why I'm going ahead and I'm opening it up now is because I put in the stems of my broccoli. And this smells amazing. I mean, it really smells good. I put in the stems of my broccoli and here I've cut them up. See, I've cut them up kind of fine like. So I'm going to give them like a one minute jump start. I'm getting ready to add my vegetables. But I'm going to give them about a one minute jump start on me adding the broccoli and the carrots. So I'm going to leave this in for one minute and then I'm going to bring you right back. And I want you to look. Now I have reduced that heat down. It's only been one minute. But I have reduced the heat down and you do not see it boiling. From this point on, you cannot boil this soup. And the reason be is because now we're going to add the milk. First, I'm going to add my celery and my onions. And then I'm going to add my 
carrots, my shredded carrots, because I have two cups of shredded carrots over here. Like I said, again, you won't need as much as I am using. Okay. So I'm going to give that a little stir, and then I'm going to add my broccoli to this. But it, it smells amazing. I mean, it really smells amazing. Now I'm going to add my broccoli to this. And I'm going to slowly add in my half and half. And I'm using this whole... quart of half and half. Now I'm going to allow this to simmer. Now it's on low. My stove is on low. I'm going to allow this to simmer for 20 more minutes. Now this is a full quart of half and half that I'm adding. And you don't want to add it too fast because you don't want your soup to curdle. And once you start to put in the milk, it will curdle. If you boil, it will curdle. And that's not what you want. So I put in four cups of half and half. To that, I'm going to add one cup of whole milk. Now, I have not put in the salt, pepper, and the nutmeg yet. I'm going to hold that until the very last minute. Okay. Now, it's at this point that I am going to continue to cook this for 20 more minutes but remember it's on low now and you don't want it to boil at all you just want it to slow simmer so that's what it's going to do right now so I'm gonna cook this on low for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna bring you back at the 20 minutes at that time I'll add the cheese and I'll add my other seasonings. I'll be right back. You want to cover it, keep it covered for 20 minutes, stir it occasionally. Be right okay, back. now I'm back and the timer just went off so the soup should be ready. And as you can see, the soup is not boiling. It should not be boiling. It just should simmer. Okay, so it's at this point that you're going to go ahead and add your nutmeg, your salt, and your pepper. Now you're going to give that a slight stir. Now you do see steam coming from it, but it is not smoking. And now you're going to add your sharp cheddar cheese, and you're going to add that one spoonful or one handful at a time. Don't add it fast. Now it's at this point that I'll be adding all of this. Now, you'll just be using 8 ounces of cheese. I'm using 16 ounces because I'm making a double batch of soup.
This is a hearty soup, and I think that you're truly going to enjoy it if you try it. Here goes the last little bit of my of my cheese. Now, once you add the cheese into it, your soup is ready. And if you have like a little clump, I should have broken that up, but since I didn't, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just break it up in the pot because it's going to melt anyway. Now your soup has really thickened. See how thick and rich that soup is. That's a good looking soup. And it's very good soup too. And I think that if you try it, you are truly going to enjoy it. So now if you look at the soup, the soup is real creamy. And it's ready to serve. So it's at this point that you'll turn it off. And you will immediately serve. Now I have a bowl that's already sitting here on the side. That soup looks real good. I mean, it really looks good. You can see the carrots. And you can see the broccoli. And you don't have to use your broccoli stems. I chose to use mine. You know, I pretty much don't throw nothing away. So I chose to use mine. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and dish and dip up a bowl of this very hearty soup. Look at it. It looks fantastic. It looks good. And what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to serve that. We have some baguette bread. So I'm going to put down a couple of pieces of that baguette. And I'm going to show you that soup. Now, if you want to add a little more of your cheese on top, you can go ahead. But that's a good looking bowl of soup. This is the only spoon I have over, but look. That soup looks great. Okay, Chris is bringing to you her broccoli cheddar cheese soup. I think if you try it, you're truly going to enjoy it. Just wanted to bring you something on a cold, cold night like this that your family could have. And it's real, real hearty. And I think it'll warm you up on the inside. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.